Back in July 2014, I reported that Microsoft and Nokia had canceled a groundbreaking phone with 3D touch technology. I never saw this phone in person, but today, that all changes. Join with me as we finally do a hands-on of the legendary Nokia McLaren. The McLaren prototype in our possession is considered the final build and we have been told it was one of the few versions reserved from Microsoft employees during its development. Although we cannot show you the security markings, it does say Microsoft Mobile across the device, which demonstrates how closely Nokia and Microsoft were working on this technology. The overall design of the phone is very similar and it looks like a cross between the Lumia 1020 and Lumia 925. The body of the phone is a gray metal, although the bottom is polycarbonate, likely for the radio antennas. The feel in the hand is fantastic, and while it's not light, it's not too heavy either. The buttons on the side include volume up and down rockers, power, and a dedicated camera button. On the opposite side is a port door for our micro SD card and nano SIM tray. The bottom features a micro USB port, and the 3.5mm headphone jack is placed at the top. Due to the massive camera bump and being metal, there is no Qi wireless charging. The phone features a 5.5 inch Full HD LCD, which is one of the first times we have seen that display size from Nokia. For storage, the phone features 32GB of internal memory and support for microSD expansion. Regarding the processor, we can confirm that the McLaren has a Snapdragon 800 CPU clocked at 2.3GHz. Also, there is 2GB of RAM. Finally, let's talk about this massive camera hump. It's huge, but it's not as quite as impressive as the Lumia 1020. Let's take a closer look. The camera is only in the 20 megapixel range and not 41 megapixel or higher. Most of that hump is for the proprietary hardware optical image stabilization, which was later improved and shrunken down for the Lumia 950 and Lumia 950 XL. Unfortunately, much of the camera software was never finalized for this prototype, so it only shoots at 8 megapixel with no options. However, I did confirm with people familiar with this project that the camera was supposed to be between 21 and 23 megapixels. Despite the unfinished state of this prototype and our tape hiding sense of information, the phone feels fantastic. The curved edges and metal body represent the flagship quality that Lumia fans expect. While much of the technology in McLaren was dated, even for 2014, there's little doubt Microsoft should have borrowed from this design for the Lumia 950 and Lumia 950 XL, which are underwhelming to say the least. Let's get to the good stuff, 3D touch. It exists, it is here, and it works. There are log tiles that explode and you can interact with the phone merely by hovering your hand. 3D touch works with various sensors in the display and even on the sides of the McLaren. As your finger approaches the screen, all the tiles begin to move in a wave-like fashion as visual feedback. Hovering above the Internet Explorer and phone reveal the exploding live tile mixed view feature. The concept here was to give developers freedom to show more information on the live tile. Instead of just two sides, you could have up to eight smaller tiles. It's a little awkward, but it does work. Under settings, we can see the hover and gestures option. Using the phone's 3D sensors, users could enable hover on start screen, keep the screen on when holding the phone, lock the screen orientation when holding the phone, silence the phone by gripping it when a call comes in or by hovering your hand over the display, and more. And it all works. I have to admit, many of these features, while not revolutionary, are an excellent evolution of the touch interaction model for modern smartphones. Things like keeping the display on while holding the phone were later replicated by Samsung and others using the front-facing camera, but the tech here is used for much more. Being able to lock the phone's orientation while gripping the device is a much better solution than toggling the feature on or off. To get a real idea of the technology here, you can see it in action using one of the 3D Touch testing apps. The display can track multiple fingers hovering over the screen, and you can even see it react to me gripping the phone. Needless to say, it is all very impressive looking technology, and it looks like something from the future, not two years ago. So what went wrong? I have been researching this topic since we reported on the phone's demise in July 2014. Some developers under NDA were actually building apps with MixView, and there were some big plans. In 2016, I'm still hearing from people familiar with the project that users simply did not get the concepts of 3D Touch. The criticism counts for beta testers as well as developers. 
It may seem crazy, but perhaps this technology was just too new and too different for users. Nonetheless, McLaren suffered from a lot of the problems other Lumias had at the time. The Snapdragon 800 was already a year old, the camera hump was more impressive than it actually was, and besides 3D Touch, the phone itself was just an evolution. I also heard that the 3D Touch technology used was problematic. Indeed, I attest that this prototype is very buggy and you would not want to use it for daily use. Is that because it was still in development or underlying problems? We may never know. I will say that by canceling McLaren, Microsoft and Nokia sealed the fate of Windows Phone. When you write off a flagship, you don't have a Plan B phone ready to go. That's it. At the very least, McLaren would have done one thing, generate hype. Like the Lumia 1020, McLaren did something new and groundbreaking. I don't think it would have saved Windows Phone 8.1 from declining sales, but it may have kept market share from nosediving. At least we could finally close the door on Nokia, McLaren, and what could have been. Then again, Microsoft Research is still developing 3D Touch technology, so who knows? Maybe someday. Thanks for watching. Head to Windows Central for more information. Take care, everybody.